Hi, my name is Hetal, and in this video, we are going to talk about the advantages of the Chrome plugin, the VW Chrome plugin. So, the very first thing that we can do with the help of a plugin is that capture some observations. We have a one center point under the plan section over here called as the observations feature. So, one way of capturing observations is you know by writing the observations manually or within all the insights reports you will get an option to capture the observations or the other easy thing is to just turn on the observation mode in the plugin and then capture the observations now apart from just capturing the observations we also have something called as a few settings that are present over here that is a visual editor latency time now let's try to understand what exactly we mean by this over here so i am changing the latency time to this as 500 milliseconds and i save this once you do the changes in the settings we'll have to refresh the vw tool and then now let's try to open the visual editor when we're trying to load the visual editor we know that it should take quite a few seconds for the page to be loaded nicely and neatly on the web page so here, if you currently see, my website required a few seconds extra, but since I just gave it like, you know, 500 milliseconds, it went on proxy editor. So this basically means that this website is now currently landed on the VW servers. When we want to do some changes, it is not recommended that the website is loaded on the server. Rather, we should make it load on the browser because that's when we will be able to see that the changes are getting implemented correctly. Now, let's try to do this once again. I will change the latency of the VW editor to, let's say, 5000 milliseconds, which is 5 seconds. Now, once again, I will try to open the visual editor. So here now we see that it got sufficient time that is a required extra seconds and it was able to load the web page very comfortably so this is how whenever you observe that if it is taking for the visual editor for you know a little bit time to load or all the settings are not loaded correctly that's when you can try increasing one or two seconds in terms of changing the milliseconds value and then trying to load your web page nicely and neatly in the visual editor this is a rare case scenario though but we have an advantage of you know using these values to make your website load better in the visual editor in the same way we have the heat map download latency now if we switch to the heat map feature we have an option to download the heat maps and scroll maps okay when we want to download them what exactly happens is let's say currently the value is a uh, 500 milliseconds and then we refresh the VW tool we try to view the heat map okay and then I want to download this so if you try to download this it will take 500 milliseconds that is half a second for every scroll and then it will download the entire page as one single PNG image okay this is how basically it's going to work, right? So this got downloaded and we can see that the entire image is downloaded. Now in the same way, if I try to increase the latency time to let's say 1000 milliseconds, which is equal to one second. And now if I try to download the image, So we can see it is going to take one second per snapshot and then it will download. So based on what exactly you want to capture, you can modify this value to take the snapshots of the heat maps. Now, apart from this, we also have some settings over here that you can see, which is called as custom CSS and custom JS. Now, assume that your CSS were not loaded correctly on the visual editor. And then probably this could happen because there are some other files apart from the main page. So you want to import some CSS or import some JavaScript. That's when you can take the help of these options to import custom CSS and custom JavaScript. So these are the advantages of using the VW plugin. Thank you for watching.